Hello guys, it's Unders. In this video, I'm going to show you very quickly how we can render a piece of MIDI out to a piece of audio. This can help save on effects processing and CPU, or it can just be so we can render out a piece of MIDI as a sample so we can be sent to another person who doesn't maybe have the same VSTs if you're working in joint projects. It's really simple to do, but it is quite hidden away. So what we'll do, we'll just take this random bit of MIDI here. As we can see, it's called Pattern 2. That's important that we know the name of the pattern because all of this exists in our patterns menu up here on the top left hand corner. So as you can see, I've just got one, two and three in there. We need to make sure we select pattern two. And then just down here towards the bottom, we've got a couple of features. We've got quick render as audio clip and render as audio clip. Well, the difference between the two is, is that quick render to audio clip will instantly render that piece of video to audio. Whereas the render to audio clip will give you the selection of render options. Now, if you haven't already set your render options, you might want to do this one first and make sure we're going to go to the right thing. So let's say WAV 16 bit in stereo, that's going to be fine, for example. So once those are then set, we would then just do the quick render as audio clip for pattern two. And you can see it's just doing it straight away for us rather than giving us the option to select anything there. All right, so once that's done, it now lives in a place where we can basically drag and drop it. And that's under Command F8. So Command F8, and then you can see there we've got Pattern 2. It's a piece of audio. We can drag and drop that. And it is now on the paintbrush. We can just drop it in as many times as we need. We can mute the MIDI playback, and it's been replaced. Now, lastly, you might want to replace all instances rather than just having the audio file. Uh, and just do them so they're directly replaced in the project. We can do that as well. Again, from the patterns list, we are going to do the render and replace. So just remember that this is going to replace those patterns. And as you can see, once that's finished, it gets rid of the MIDI and replaces it with the bounced audio. So I hope that's helpful for you guys. If you're struggling with CPU in your projects, this is a way to get around that and port everything to audio. It's also a really good way to get samples and project. It's always really, it's also a really good way to get samples out of your projects and things you've played and you might want to send to somebody else and work with other people. Thank you very much for watching. I hope the video was helpful for you and I look forward to seeing you on the next one.